This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 1999 Ford F-250 four-door super cab. It's a short bed. It's a 7.3 liter turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive and it's a six-speed manual. Uh, this is a pretty rare truck. It has 219,969 miles. It was a dealer trade-in here locally in Tucson. Nobody can sell anything with over 100,000 miles or 10 years old. Not nobody, but generally nobody can get loans for their customers, especially when they're over 200,000 miles. So they just sell them to us, and we can't get enough of these. Uh, this is a great truck. Uh, we get them here, we inspect them. This is what the inspection looks like. Not much going on here. Usually there's a lot more because whoever had this thing took pretty good care of it. Um, let's see, what did we do? We did. Uh, driver door lock actuator. We repaired the seat cushion on the driver's seat. Uh, replaced the door lock actuator. Driver door lock actuator and passenger door lock actuator. Both door lock actuators are replaced. Um, windshield had a crack, it's replaced. Got a new air filter. Both side mirrors weren't working. So we replaced both of those. Uh, the driver door handle had a big crack in it, it's replaced. And then that's about it. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what's happening with this truck. Um, because it's a manual, I'm gonna need somebody to drive it for me while I can do the video. And that'll happen momentarily. Walk you through this thing. It's got some really nice off-road tires. We didn't do those, and those look relatively new, too new, uh, new also, the Pro Comp shocks. Those are Coopers also, P Cooper Discovers, 295-70-17s. Those are expensive tires. I just bought a set for another truck, some Coopers. It's probably, they probably paid 11 or 1200 bucks out the door for those tires. And relatively recently, so someone liked it enough to do a nice expensive set of tires really recently. And they probably drive by the dealership that they traded this thing in at and saw something they had to have and there you go. When my brother's gonna take this thing out, um, a little white touch-up paint would help. A little, couple of scratches there. He's gonna take it out for uh, between 50 and 80 HD pictures. In that gallery, you'll see a little uh, magnifying glass. You can drag over any spot on the truck that you see in that picture and zoom in. Please use that, okay? Uh, cosmetics should never be an excuse. The biggest cosmetic problem is right here low behind this wheel which is kind of where they always have it. See right here? It's not much for a truck. But my job here is to uh, make sure that you know what you're buying and that everything that we know, you know, okay? Bed liner here, toe plug there. It's a pretty sweet little truck. Got a tow hitch below the bumper also. Aftermarket tail lights. And we got those expensive Coopers there. And a nice spare too. That looks like a BFG. All terrain. I think I've seen enough tires in my life. We did the tread pattern. Boom, that's what it is. All right, let me fire this guy up. We'll go under the hood here in a second after I show you some paperwork that we have on it. There you go. We've had this thing running for, I don't know, about 10 or 15 minutes before we did this video. Um, Let's see, what stuff we have. Kelly Blue Book, 7.3 manual, short bed, 219,000 miles. Suggested retail price is 9,029. I can tell you right now it's gonna sell for more than that. that. That is a really low number on this truck. If it sold for that, I would be, I might buy it for myself. Um, but it's up to my brother what he prices them at. Maybe it'll be that or lower all the uh, equipment the equipment will be in the ads so there's no need to stop the video here we did a Carfax on 22017 this is what it says no accident damage there's the bin for the truck 
So it is a carb tax for this vehicle. There we go. Boom. Good news, Arizona all the way. So far at least. 140, blah, blah, blah. There's all your typical recall crap that they fill up car packs with now. And 175,000 miles. Bang, 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 bang. Chapman Honda. There you go. There it is. Okay. There'll be a link to that uh, Carfax in the ad. So, let me try the window. There's the window there. There's the passenger window. These manuals, I gotta get somebody to come out and help me a little bit here. So Jason's getting the engine ready. Seat works. Seat forward and back. And down and up and tilt up and down rear seat up and down there you go you got a tilt wheel here There's your tilt wheel mirrors out in up down other side out in up down there you go All right, on this side, we've got a Ford stamp here. That'll tell you that this fender is original. Ford stamp on the core support. Stickers where they belong. Oil caps off. That's very light uh, flow by for a 7.3 with 200,000 miles. That's good. There's a Ford stamp there. Blow by with 200,000 miles. You get a million there. Sometimes you have so much blow by you can't see through it. It doesn't seem to matter, but we like to show people what they have. That way there's no surprises and no one's angry and blah, blah, blah. There you go. Okay. All right. Lock it here. There's a little elbow wear right there. We're not going to fix that. That's common. Let's see what else. Here's your air. Boom, boom. We have a manual here. I think we have a manual here, the whole thing. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, so you have a manual. All right, what are we doing? Four high. Four high reverse. Faster, you might want to walk faster and walk alongside in one low. <laughs> that was pretty. Little <laughs> granny gear there. It does have a little bit of bubbling on the on the uh, headliner there, just so you know. All right, let me see radio. Radio. What's that? So you have a radio. CD player, old school cassette. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you're welcome to do that. You will pay um, tax and dock fee. Okay, dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city sales tax plus your state tax rate in. So, if you come here, it's your state tax rate plus our city of 2% plus $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Um, once we receive your wire, if you're going to ship, We'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Uh, we'll notarize and sign it off to you, scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately, and we'll mail it to you. We'll, even the envelope we mail it in will be scanned into your online file so you'll be able to see it. Obviously, once you have the truck shipped to you, 
You already have the title from the mail. You go to motor vehicles in your town and get plates. Very simple. Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deal, please get your deposit in. This is a six-speed manual 7.3. This is guaranteed not to last long. All right, so please get your deposit ready. If you're going to go through the hour of uh, doing this, you should probably uh, be ready to fire away and uh, get your deposit in because somebody else is probably doing the same thing at the same time and it'll, be, it'll become a race with this truck for sure. All right, uh, what else? Um, warranty speech. Okay, it's 18 years old, has 219,000 miles, and we are not warranting the car. Ford bailed on this truck uh, well over a decade ago and well over 100,000 miles ago. Uh, they didn't know what would happen to it after that many miles or years, and we don't either. Although, we do know these trucks probably better than any diesel mechanic that Ford has working for them in Arizona. Um, and this is a nice one. Uh, very low blow-by, uh, runs great, tranny's good, clutch feels good, am I correct? Yeah. All right, clutch is good. Um, that being said, you know, if, if you get it and something breaks, you're gonna write a check, you're gonna get it fixed. We are not writing checks. If this doesn't work for you, please stay away from our uh, our ads and our cars because we don't have a guaranteed car that won't break uh, ever. <laughs> we, we only sell vehicles that uh, humans made, all right? And if human made it, uh, it's gonna break. Uh, we don't know what day it's gonna break, but it will break. This is a 7.3, they're extremely dependable. Um, but you never know. You could need something the day you get it. It could be three months down the road. It could be 10 years from now. But eventually it will break. And eventually it will break permanently. Okay? So will all these cars that we're driving by. All right? So please make sure that you're a reasonable person and you understand that, you know, things are going to happen. And if they happen, you're going to fix them. Okay? Uh, there's a lot of people who see our ads. Uh, this truck will probably be seen, be seen between 500 and 1,000 times a day. And the, uh, the objective of this thing is not to be nice to this truck and save it from, you know, uh, harm by hiding things, okay? That's why we show you the blow-by, we show you the scratches, we show you the dings, we show you the Carfax, we show you the Kelly. We want you to know everything that we know, all right? But uh, your job is to accept responsibility of the car. You're the owner. If something breaks, you are fixing it, all right? That being said, you are not going to find a manual truck like this very often. 7.3 manual 4x4 very doubtful okay anyway uh, please go over all the information on this thing and uh, all the pictures video make sure you know what you're doing if you don't know 7.3s talk to somebody please so you know um, show them the video show them the pictures ask them what they think uh, an expert on this truck is going to go crazy over it um, but uh, just know what you're doing because we can sell it to somebody. We want to sell it to somebody who knows what they're doing and knows diesel. Okay? Even for those big off-road tires, it's not too bad. That'd be because they're not uh, the Chinese knockoff, they're Coopers. Actually, not that bad at all. Normally, you wouldn't want to drive down I-10 with uh, those tires. That would probably make you insane, but these don't seem like they'd be too bad. Thank you for your time.